people you have to drink to stay sane i agree and you gotta drink the whole purpose of the whole summer house is to drink and yeah. and let your guards down Are people doing kurt, <laughs> kurt just joined us what up kurt i just joined you you look <laughs> you like you you're in like a prison lobby <laughs> just your face make it prisony <laughs> i just shaved not too long ago with my clippers uh you like you're getting too beardy you're doing a dateline interview <laughs> yeah i had to look good <laughs> keith morrison has got some questions for you what'd you say keith morrison has some questions for you <laughs> Just Keith serious. Morrison doesn't question people. He just tells about a murder that already happened. No, he questions yes, he the family and stuff in the interviews. Dum dum. Oh, him. oh. Did you just call him Dum Dum? Yep. I like that. I like That's that. his little name. What's going on, Kurt? How you are you holding up in this quarantine? Oh, I'm under siege from like most of Glendale right now. Oh, uh, under siege. What's going on? Fucking. So, a couple episodes ago on my podcast, Brian, one of the dudes that's on it, <laughs> he had a picture up of um. Something from the Armenian genocide. Oh, cute. Okay. <laughs> so I go, oh, I, you know, you can put like in Zoom, you can put like a background on your thing. Right, right, right. So we had been talking about it because you know I show the Young Turks. Yeah. yeah. So the Young Turks <laughs> are the, the show, name of the people that killed the Armenians. <laughs> oh, really? Like, it's okay. like if you named your show the, the Gestapo, the, yeah. pod, <laughs> the yeah. political show. So, uh, you know, he's Turkish, young uh, Cenk Weggers or whatever. So. Anyway, we're making fun of that guy because I guess he's like an Armenian genocide denier. So, uh, fucking uh, <laughs> Brian makes a joke. He goes, "Oh no, I I have this up because I'm an Armenian genocide denier." <laughs> and then Ramsey, this fucking Palestinian guy, I think his Muslimness probably stoked up the crowds too. He goes, "Well, I don't believe it happened." And then I, as a joke, I go, "I think it happened, but I think it's a good thing." <laughs> right? Oh boy. By the way, which is an obvious joke. Yeah. And, and we've been making fun of this for a. Oh, of this guy, Chink Wiggers, for a while. I can't Chink believe the way his name is Chink Wigger. That sounds crazy to me. Oh, I, I thought you were being, being rude. Yeah. <laughs> no, the guy from game. the Young Turks. <laughs> Look his fucking name up. His name is exactly <laughs> what now? Rude. Chink, C-E-N-K, but you say Chink. Chink. I'm not Chink? saying it with an I. Okay, Chink. 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 <laughs> it doesn't come out good. His name's uh, not good. Chink Wiggers, like a play of niggers? <laughs> no. Like Uyghurs, like like in China, the Uyghurs. Okay. Y G A, like a white rapper. Uyghur. It's Chink Uyghur is his name. <laughs> wow. Now sometimes people say Uyghur, <laughs> yogurt. If he, anybody need to change a name to fucking Michael. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Here's motherfucker. the point. His some name fucking, is a scramble board. Some girl, uh, like, and this is also I blame Kyle, because I make those sketches with him now, and he's got Kyle, a big fan uh, base. Uh, uh, he well, may, he does the Kardashians, right? Yeah, yeah, it's great too. It's really so funny. funny. Yeah. Okay, so I get people go on my Instagram because they saw my name on the thing. Right. So some girl in Glendale, I I don't remember her name, and there's no reason to bring her name up. She's some kind of makeup artist. She's a girl from LA. Right. <laughs> Dumb. She's a she's not a genius. We'll put <laughs> right. It right. Okay. Hey, she's no Rob Kardashian. <laughs> <laughs> you mean Slot King, Rob Kardashian? <laughs> So she fucking went and made a thing that I that telling people I think it's good that the Armenian genocide happened. So, oh, she made. Oh, you always thought in some fire somewhere. So she made someone a site. The, you know the, that who Kurt I feel the for? There's a guy in Minnesota who just, his name Kurt Metzger who just makes Christmas music. And oh, every boy. three or four years, he must get bombarded. Oh, that poor man. With people poor like soul. I'm gonna kill your family. By the way, so all the oh my god. Um, if I personally owe him America, an apology. Family. Sorry. I, <laughs> I owe that man several apologies. I cursed him out several nights. He's like, why do people hate Santa? <laughs> well, it's, it's, it's crazy because, like, I'm so – was all the jest was on the side of the Armenians. And then, uh, right. you know, I got to oh. keep my temper and not – because people are saying such stupid shit. They're not coming to me. They're, like, contacting my brother and shit. Oh, really? People coming at your family? Because you know what kind of people there are. They're like from fucking, uh, like Liam Neeson needs to set them straight. Let's put it that way. <laughs> <laughs> Liam Neeson should come and Good use luck. His skills to set these motherfuckers <laughs> straight. <laughs> Good luck. So, so they're coming at you, and you said this they're on the podcast. They're coming at me, calling me a Jew. Here's what I'm the most upset about. Calling you a Call Jew? Me. Yeah, I'm not Jewish. Stop saying that. Wait, ain't that a, that's a compliment. <laughs> No, not how they're saying it. Oh, how, oh boy. How they're they like, what it? if we talked about your fucking big nose holocaust the way you just talked? Oh, about boy. Holocaust. Yeah, that's not. Yeah, that ain't good temple talk. 
Temple talk. <laughs> I go, Temple guys, talk. Write that I'm down, trying man. to act like, first of all, Barack Obama doesn't recognize the Armenian Holocaust, so I'm better than you people than Obama. I'm oh. better than Obama. Wait, Obama don't you recognize people. it? people. What? You don't recognize the Holocaust? No, no. That's the thing. The That's Armenian why it's Holocaust. not going anywhere, because it's like, but I think it's a totally real thing. I, the Turks are some of the ass rapiest people who ever walked the earth. I met some nice ones. But historically, yeah. if you ever saw Lawrence of Arabia, remember in Lawrence of Arabia, he gets captured by the Turks. Yeah, and he's a beautiful who, man, though. You want to fuck Lawrence of Arabia. You saw that motherfucker? Wow. Beautiful This eye. guy that looked a lot like Cenk Uyghurs comes out. Now, it's a tasteful <laughs> film, so you just see the guy come out, and then they take, they take Lawrence inside, and then Lawrence comes out of the room and is like, guys, we got to go right now. Ah, <laughs> like, <laughs> Yeah, that's a bad Like, he got a good Turkish talking to. <laughs> um, but the uh, Turks were fucking brutal, and it was... Uh, it's weird because when they did that genocide, it was uh, it wasn't entirely Muslim. It was like young communists that they so were killing. There was Islamic shit was part of it, but not really. It was more nationalistic. Yeah. Uh, uh, these ki- these young Turks got all worked up, and they're like, "We gotta keep Turkey for the Turks." And they went yeah. and just everybody's getting nationalistic now. That you describe in America. Yeah, but America's not. Who's America? Fucking 